Welcome back everybody and thank you for joining me on today's adventure. I'm super pumped about today's activity because I'm actually going to be scuba diving the Bustleton Jetty. So I'm down here today. I've teamed up with Elliot again from the Dingo channel. So you might remember him from a couple of videos I've done in the past. He came scuba diving with me over at Rotnest Island. I also did an interview where I questioned him and Zali about the volunteer work they do at the Dingo Discovery Sanctuary over in Victoria. But today, it's all about fun. It's all about adventure. We're heading out to the end of the jetty, which is 1.8 kilometers long. As you can see, the uh, weather is absolutely beautiful today. Have a look at this. The water is crystal clear. Geograph Bay looks absolutely spectacular. Crystal clear water beautiful calm conditions it's going to be a spectacular dive i'm super excited super pumped to be doing this today i've been on the go since 5 30 so i drove down picked up elliot we both made our way down here this morning and uh, we're going to get stuck into it so i'll see you out there the bustleton jetty provides a train that can take tourists down to the other end of the jetty it costs about $15 an adult return or about $8.50 per child. If you are only going to travel one way on the train and walk back, then it's $10 per person regardless of whether you're an adult or a child. After Elliot and I saw the passengers on the train depart, we made our way down the jetty. Along the way, there are a couple of shelters that you can have a rest in if needed, and one of those shelters even had a defibrillator. So after Elliot and I had made our way down to the far end of the jetty, we met up with the lady that was running the dive shelter for the day, and she fitted us out with all the gear we needed, and we hit the water. So it is important to note that the jetty is an open fishing ground. There will be people using fishing line and hooks and baits and things like that. But there is a large metal gate which leads into where the underwater observatory is. Beyond that metal gate, it's safe. Fishermen are not allowed to go beyond that spot. So you can swim under the jetty without any worry about getting hooked by a fishing line. If you go the other direction, which you can do, and it is worth a look because some of the divers went that way and they saw a wobbegong shark, which we never saw. But if you do decide to go that way, then there is a chance that you will uh, get snagged on a fishing line. So it's important to make sure you've got some kind of tool to cut yourself free if needed. to get it right trying to find some 
All right, everybody. So we finished our first dive, and I'm actually taking shelter inside the little dive shed they've got down here at the end of the jetty because the wind is absolutely blowing a gale right now. Really different uh, conditions to this morning. I'll take you around the corner and show you what's going on out there. <laughs> yeah. So check this out blowing an absolute gale right now. When we were down there we didn't realise how much the wind had picked up but uh, just look at it now, all the sprays getting on the camera lens. I'm starting to shake because it's cold. <laughs> but yeah we're about to get our second tank and head down again. Probably be down for another hour or so. Uh, fantastic conditions, beautiful and clear, plenty of uh, marine life to see. I did see a Samson fish at the last second there, but I don't know if I got it on camera, so I'm going to keep a sharp eye out for them and yeah, see how we go.
I think Fisherman dropped some baits from the jetty above. So we decided to take the opportunity to feed these fish baits to some of the cephalopods that we had seen earlier on in our dive, namely the octopus and uh, one of the cuttlefish. So now I'm starting to feed the octopus and you can see he's quite curious and he is very interested in the fish that I was offering him and I think he was a little bit surprised he was kind of saying oh is that for me and then he slowly reaches out and he grabs hold of the fish and then he takes it Now watch the difference when a cuttlefish feeds. They are so fast. So when we were underwater, I didn't have any way to be able to warn Elliot about what was going to happen. I knew the cuttlefish was gonna strike fast and grab hold of that fish, but I wasn't too worried. Elliot was holding the fish the correct way, he had his fingers down near the tip of the tail so there was plenty of strike area for the cuttlefish to grab and uh, I think he was very excited by that experience, you can tell by his enthusiasm at the end of the video so uh, stick around to, to see his response and I ask him what he thought about the dive. The end of the jetty sits in about 9 metres of water, so both of our dives lasted for well over an hour. Now after being in the water for this long, you can tell by my shaky camera work, I was starting to get pretty cold. So I would recommend that if anybody is thinking about going to do this dive, maybe ask if they have some dive hoods that you can wear or bring one along with you because I'm not actually sure if they provide those or not. We weren't provided them so there's a possibility that they don't actually have that but all the other equipment they have, they had BCDs, they had oxygen tanks, they had regulators, they had your fins and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I did bring my own regs because I wanted to use my own mouthpiece and things like that but uh, apart from that They've pretty much got everything there, but yeah, I would definitely recommend bringing along a neoprene dive hood just to try and keep your body that little bit warmer for that little bit longer.
All right, so we've done the double dive. It's all over and done with now, but it was absolutely awesome. Man, I can tell you, if you want to come down here and check out the Bustledon Jetty Dive, you should absolutely do it. You don't actually have to pay to, uh, you know, dive off the end. If you've got all your own gear, you pay like four bucks at the main entrance just to walk down the jetty and uh, you can dive. Um, so you don't actually have to do it with the company. But the advantage doing it with the dive company that operates down here is that they have all the gear there. So you don't have to carry it all the way to the end of the jetty, which is really nice, really handy. So what do you reckon, Elliot? Oh, dude, so awesome. Yeah. Cuttlefish, octopus, just everything. We saw everything. Yeah, so. there was um, a whole variety of different kinds of fish. We saw Samson fish down there as well. Yeah. There was so much. I'm going to have to go back through all the footage and try and put some labels up on screen and identify as many different species as I can. Yeah. But uh, it was all down here. It was absolutely fantastic. So yeah, we've had an awesome day. In fact, during our second dive, um, it actually started raining and we had no idea. Apparently it absolutely threw it down and people were like running and screaming everywhere. Apparently <laughs> this is what the, this is what the lady told us that was yeah. running the dive center. So we, we came up and were none the wiser, but uh, the whole pier was deserted down that end. <laughs> but uh, the sun's kind of back out again. There's a bit of cloud cover out now. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of people back out on the jetty. Everyone's enjoying the uh, public holidays. So I hope you all enjoyed that video. Thanks for joining me. Oh, actually, before I go, this is Elliot's last day in Perth. He's heading off. So he's going back up north and um, carrying on his trip around Australia. So I wish yeah. you all the best, mate. Oh, thanks, mate. It's great yeah. to have another dive with you. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So thanks for joining me um, for today's dive, but also for helping me out in the past with the uh, Q&A video that I did with you and Zali. Yep. So I really appreciate yep. that. And obviously, thanks to both of you again for uh, responding to my uh, message when I reached out to you so that we could uh, catch up and make these videos. It's been, it's been yeah, awesome, it's yeah. It's been so, great, yeah. Yeah, so I really appreciate that. Thanks everybody for joining me. I appreciate you coming along and having these adventures with me and I'll see you all next time. Cheers.